Hi friends, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to insert levels properly in Revit. Levels define specific heights in a project. And you may also notice, when you start a new project, it comes with some levels defined by default. For example, a construction template has level 0, level 1 and levels for the foundation plans. In an architectural template, on the other hand, the foundation plans are not included, because usually they are not necessary for architects. Anyway, all these levels can be edited according to your preferences. So, these are my current levels. You can see that both the first and ground floors have the symbol in blue color. This means there are floor plans associated with those levels. The levels behind the surface have this symbol in black, because I don't have floor plans for them. Actually, I have deleted them before. Remember that you can check out the plans looking at the project browser. There is also a site plan here, but that's a different thing. That's just a plan to indicate the location of your project. How can we make a plan view for a specific level? For example, top of footing. I'm going to the View tab, then on the panel Create, I click on Plan View and choose Floor Plan. In this window, I select the floor plan that I want to generate. I click on TO Footing. Here it is, a tab has also opened for the plan. On the Elevation view, you can see that it turned to blue and the new floor plan is on the project browser it's possible to select more than one level and they will be generated at the same time. Now let's learn to create a new level. On the Architecture tab, I'm going to click on this icon Level. I want to draw a new level above the first floor. It will be the second floor. In my opinion, the best way is dragging the pointer to the opposite side of the level symbol and when the end point is highlighted, drag up and you can see this vertical tracking line. I will type 3 for placing the level 3 meters above level 1. Then I go to the other side and hold this point in order to be in line with the other levels. Have a look to the options bar. The option Make Plan View is ticked. It means that the floor plan for this level will be generated, as well as the ceiling plan. Click on Modify to exit this operation. To modify the level heights, I already showed to you. It works the same way as for other elements like walls. Click on the one you want to move, and then change the lengths of the temporary dimension lines that appear. Now, let's have a bit of practice. If you want, you can use this image. I attached it in the description of this video to make this short exercise. So first, I'm going to select all these levels under the ground floor and delete them. Ah, there is a warning here saying that three views will be deleted. Yes, the plan views for each of these levels. OK. Now I'm going to add a new level. I hold this endpoint, drag down and place the new level at 0.3 meters. Remember that in Revit the distances that show in the drawing are precise, unlike in AutoCAD. So I can click, then move to the right and click again on the other side. Great! Then I repeat the process for the other levels. I have to hover again the same endpoint and this time I need to type 3.7, not 4, because the distance here is from the last level that I created. Yes, sometimes we need to do some calculations. After drawing them all, I can see that some of the level names are above others and this is due to the narrow spacing between them, making it hard to see. But don't get stressed, this is easy to fix. And that's exactly what we are going to see now. 
I'm going to click on one of the levels and zoom in a little bit. You can notice this tiny jog here. I click on it and the annotation leader is discontinued, creating those two grips over here. So, I can use them to reposition the annotation of this level in the way that I want. I showed to you the location of the jog in the first floor level, because if I click on level 8, I hardly could notice it if I didn't know it was there. So, I moved this grip to the left and the one below here to not overlap the text above. Then, I want to reposition all these level annotations and don't worry because the level height doesn't change. If I prefer to have the leaders vertical, the grip also snaps to that position. Look, it's simple. Then I rename all the levels. I just need to click on its name to change it. And for the last one, the base of foundations, I don't need any plan views. So I'm going to delete the view on floor plans, on ceiling plans, and also there is one here on structural plans. Do you see, when all the views are deleted, the color changes to black. Ok, it looks like we reached the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to Cad in Black. There you can find all the content of tutorials for beginners. See you on the next occasion.